So let me talk about serving a bit, starting with verse 7. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Grace is given to each one of us. So what Paul, who wrote this book, is trying to get across is that when it comes to the gifting for Christ, when it comes to serving within his body, Christ has made you in a very specific way, each one different than the other. That's why it's a body. We're not all a hand. We're not all an eye. We have all different pieces, right? So we're all very different. Now, this is, this is in contrast to what he just said. That starts with verse 7. But if you look at the three verses prior... Verses 4, 5, and 6, he uses the word one seven times, trying to talk about the church as a whole as being one and unified, which I just described in verse 13, right? So one body, one faith, one baptism, one Lord. He talks about all those things and then switches, which is why he uses the word but here. But even though we're one as a community, we're very different, each one of us, in how we fit into that community, so he could have used, in Greek language, he could have used just one word that means each one, and it's the word hekastos, hekastos, all right? Um, but instead, he used two words. He used hekastos, each one, but then he used the word heis, which means one or individually. So he was doubling it up. After emphasizing we're one as a community, he didn't want anybody to get the, the, um, misunderstood and realize that there isn't a special place for you, that you don't just mold into one, but you have a very special place in God's kingdom. So literally he's saying here, yet each one of us, to each one of us, individually, he gives these gifts. Now, if you want to find out more about the gifts and what they are, there's two chapters I would recommend, Romans chapter 12 and 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Easy to remember. Romans chapter 12, and the very next book, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 as well. But let me read you a few verses from those two chapters that talk about the individuality of your gifts and your place in the body that's one under Christ's lordship. Verse 3 of Romans 12, For through the grace given to me, I say to every man among you not to think more highly of himself than he ought to think, but to think so as to have sound judgment, as God has allotted to each a measure of faith. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7. But to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Verse 11. But one in the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually, just as he wills. wills. Verse 18. But now God has placed the members, each one of them, in the body, just as he desired. So he's very strong here on you knowing where your individual spot is in serving the Lord. And even though, yes, it talks about that grace is given different, what he's talking about is gift. Because in the Bible, there's saving grace that we all get when we turn our lives over to Christ. And then there's equipping grace that's very, very different. And we know he's talking about that equipping grace because that's what the whole context of Ephesians 4 is about. He says very specifically, these gifts of apostle and shepherd and pest are used to equip you so you know what you're supposed to do as well. So each one gets a gift. Each one has a place of service. 